Welcome to a screencast showing how to create an aligned video to uh, put into a panorama. So we're going to use uh, Video Stitch and I have a video that I shot the same time I captured a panorama. Panorama is already stitched. So I'm just going to drop this onto Video Stitch. From here we're going to launch PDGUI. So we go and say New Calibration and uh, we're going to use the uh, current folder just cancel that for now and what I want to do is add a uh, additional image which is the stitched panel give that a separate uh, lens set And we'll choose that as equal rectangular, 360, all these things, and uh, now what we'll do is add some control points because uh, PTGUI does not uh, create control points from uh, equal rectangular images. So, control points. Um, So, few. And uh, we'll just speed this up with the work of uh, computer magic. And now we'll optimize. We don't want to optimize the uh, eagle rectangular. We want to make sure the other one uh, fits in there correctly. <coughs> All right. So now we have an aligned uh, image that's on our panel. What we want to do next is um, change the uh, output projection. We're going to do a rectangle. And we're going to just come in and get just what we want. Power only here. Now, <coughs> this should be uh, tall enough, probably more t taller than we need. Because we want uh, just above this guy. So what we're going to do is come in here and change the pitch and uh, we'll try uh, 25 and that pretty much centers it. So we'll remember that 25. And we're also going to just adjust the yaw here. We just moved it to uh, one degree. And we're going to shrink this a little bit more. Shrink this. So 
So this will be our panoramic video. We no longer need the uh, full panel, so we'll just uh, remove that. So now we just have our, this is going to be our source image and all the animation that happens within this little frame here. And uh, if you recall, we did a 25 degree pitch and a 1 degree uh, yaw. And what you can do is continuously press that to get uh, more values um, to fine tune it. And just remember exactly what you've done, though. If you've done, you know, then do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Add those up, and that's the value you need to remember. So now, uh, go back to uh, Panel Tools and uh, back to PD GUI. And uh, here we want to create our output. Um, I'm using free version of Video Stitch, so 512 is the uh, height that I'm can do. I'm going to shrink this just a bit more because I don't need. go 512 and how far is that from the max so I'm down sampling just a bit here so the video source is going to be a little bit smaller than uh, our panel <clears throat> you do want to try to keep these values um, divisible by probably 4 16 maybe even better but 4 should be good and, uh, and so I'm going to save this project put it back to where I had it before That's my clock tower video. And then come back to video stitch. And uh, we're going to apply a calibration. We're going to save the project. Give it the uh, same name. And now video stitch. is going to output our video with the uh, animation. It's quite subtle. Figurines come and go. Lions roar. And... I will output this, copy the um, audio, I'm not sure about the frame rate issue, um, and process. Again, video magic. And that's done. So we can close video stitch. Um, one thing I did when you guys were away was come in and added my um, eco rectangular image again. Did a transform again on it to bring it back to the right spot. And uh, just outputted a single image. Um, this way I can um, blend that together in the panorama when I bring it into um, Premiere or some other video editing software and uh, feather the video onto uh, the background and so that uh, it perfectly aligned.
So closed PD GUI. And now we have a output here that is 512 tall, 6, 160 wide. And our animation. So in Premiere, I've already had uh, a video in here with audio that I've uh, manipulated, trying to um, soften up a little. And what I'm going to do, though, is take this video away and whoops. Save out the media, match the source, we want the same width. Uh, we don't need... Uh, very high uh, at all. Mono source. Video magic. And that was been rendered. So we can close Premiere, save, add our panel. our video file um, right so one thing I didn't do was in PT GUI we closed did we yep um, this is the project file what we didn't do was check the field of view 
13 degrees. So that's the field of view that we want to put in here. The other thing we want to do is not touch these. And we'll save this. And uh, edit it as well. And and so here's our video that we added uh, to be embedded. And if you remember right, we panned one degree and we went up 25. And uh, save that. And we'll open this again. That's where our video was. And now we can uh, go and create flash and, and uh, HTML output. And it renders out the uh, panorama. Magic of computer.